Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning on Easter Sunday or Risen Day. Amen. As we Christians call it, Risen Day. The day Jesus rose from the tomb. And we're stopping our parables with Jesus. And, and, and this, is, is, this is just what it is. I believe today's message is going to bless you. I believe it's going to take you to a whole different meaning. I believe that it's going to break some bondages, break some uh, addictions, break some things, heal some people. Today's message is powerful. If I never preach again or never write anything again, just listen to today's. That's it. I thank God for, for allowing me to wake up this morning. Amen. So share this with somebody. Listen, I'm wearing red. Because the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ is upon me. Amen. I, I am honoring God. Uh, listen, if you don't know what the blood of the Lamb is, go to our website and, 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 and you'll, uh, uh, there's, a, there, there's a, 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 a page on there and it talks about the blood of the Lamb and the Passover. So that will make more sense if you go and read that. So please go to our website, uh, davidgomezministries.com, all right? But let's, today's message is, he didn't give up. He rose up. Amen. I am fired up. I hope you're fired up. Share this. Uh, share it with somebody. Today's message is going to bless somebody. Amen. I, I, I'm telling you, it is powerful. But before we get into it, let us pray. Amen. Dear God, we just want to thank you for today, Lord God. We want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up, Lord, Lord, this morning, Lord God. And thank you for just allowing us to celebrate your, your risen day, Lord God. It's not about all the little bunnies and, and, and eggs and all that. That might be fun, but we know the true meaning about you uh, rising from the tomb. We thank you for that, Lord God. Open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, and our souls, Lord God, to be able to receive your blessings today, your miracles, your salvation, your understanding, Lord God. We will never be the same after today. In your precious name, amen, amen. Listen, this is a little different, okay? God gave me this, and it's a little different. It's, it's, it's kind of poetic, and I'm just going to read it to you. I'm going to share it to you. All right? So we're going to take it a little different. But just pay attention, and, and I know it's going to bless your heart. Amen? And this is called, he didn't give up. He rose up. Amen? Now, our story begins at the Garden of Gethsemane. After Jesus and his disciples had taken Passover meal. They go to the garden. There Jesus is praying and he tells his disciples to keep watch and pray. He goes in and prays. And as he comes out, he sees his disciples not doing what he told them to do. They were sleeping instead of praying. He wakes them up. All right. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. He goes back in, tells them to pray. He goes back in and begins praying even more. He comes back out, yet they fell back asleep. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. He goes back in and he starts praying even more. See, he was praying for humanity. He was praying for his disciples. He was praying for me and he was praying for you. When Jesus got done praying, he sees Judas coming up. With his, Judas is leading the soldiers and chief priests and Pharisees to arrest Jesus. His own disciple betrayed him, backstabbed him, sold him with a kiss for 30 pieces of silver. Jesus showed him nothing but love. And as Judas did this, what did Jesus do? He didn't give up. 
as they arrest him and as they brought him to the high priest, the guards mocked him, beat him, punched him, and insulted him. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. As they brought him to the high priest, the guards mocked him even more, beat him and punched him. And as the crowd insulted him, spit at him, punched him, slapped him, and all the people yelled at him with so much hate. When just a couple days before, he had done all these miracles for the same people and showed them nothing but love. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. As Peter, his disciple, watched in fear for his own life, the crowd began to point out to him, aren't you one of his disciples? Peter begins to deny Christ. Peter says, I don't know him. I don't know what you're talking about. And as Peter denies Jesus Christ, as Jesus Christ is watching Peter deny him three times, what does Jesus do? He didn't give up. So the Jewish leaders take Jesus before the Roman governor Pilate. See, they wanted the death penalty for him. Pilate begins to question him, finds no fault in him. He says, this man is innocent. So he begins to think, ah, it was custom tradition to release a prisoner at the time of the Passover. So Pilate brings out a thief and a murderer prisoner. Pilate brings out this thief, murderous, evil prisoner. His name was Barabbas. A sinful, guilty man. He asked the crowds, should I release this innocent man named Jesus Christ or this murderous, sinful, guilty man named Barabbas? The crowd begins to yell, release Barabbas and crucify Jesus. At that moment, Jesus could have called a thousand angels to rescue him. Thousands upon thousands of angels to rescue him. But as the crowd yells, release Barabbas and crucify Jesus, what does Jesus do? He didn't give up. Jesus being a good, holy, loving, pure, innocent, sinless God. He took Barabbas' place. Hmm. Who is Barabbas? I am Barabbas. You are Barabbas. We are are all Barabbas. We are sinful, full of pride, and deserve the punishment for our sins and actions. But Jesus loved us so much. He loved Barabbas so much that he was willing to take his place. He was willing to take your place. He didn't give up. He took our punishment and set Barabbas free. 
He set us free. Jesus Christ didn't give up. And as Jesus took lashes and beating over and over and over and over again, the Bible says that they beat him so much that they couldn't recognize him anymore. His blood began to run down like a river covering my sins, covering your sins, covering the sins of the world. He didn't give up. So what did Jesus do? Jesus gets up trying to breathe, trying to stand up because he knew he had a job to finish. It wasn't done yet. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. And as the crowd mocked him and the soldiers put a crown of thorns on his head, Jesus picks up his cross and begins to walk as they keep whipping him and beating him and mocking him. Jesus begins to walk all the way to Calvary with his cross. What could, I can only imagine that that walk seemed like an eternity. Tired, pain, beaten, bruised, battered. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. And as he gets to Calvary, where they nailed his hands and feet to the cross and put a sign on him, mocking him, saying, Jesus, King of the Jews. But Jesus knew that he wasn't just the King of the Jews. He was the king of the world. What did Jesus do? He didn't give up. And as he hanged on the cross, all the sins of the world were put upon Jesus and that cross. So much that darkness began to fill the whole earth. From noon to three o'clock, it became dark. And at around 3 o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And as he took his last breath and said, it is finished. Now, if the story would have just ended up there, it would still be a great story. But see, it doesn't end there. Jesus died, then they put him in the tomb, buried him. But Jesus did what no other man, what no other person, nobody else could do. No, Jesus didn't give up. See, Jesus rose up. He came out of the grave. Jesus rose up. He conquered what no one else could ever conquer. He conquered sickness. He defeated pain. He conquered fear. He conquered sin. He conquered the grave. He rose up and defeated death for you. For me, for all humanity. See, I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what your circumstances are right now. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus is saying, don't give up. Rise up. Rise up.
Jesus did it. He conquered every circumstance in your life so that you may rise up. It doesn't matter how hard it looks. Jesus didn't give up. He did it so that you could rise up. See, just like the disciples, how many times have we slept when we were supposed to be praying? Just like Judas, how many times did we sold out Jesus? Just like Peter, how many times have we denied Jesus Christ? And just like Barabbas, we are guilty and full of sin. But God still loved us so much that God still sent his only begotten son that whoever receives him will not perish but have eternal everlasting life. Through all that, Jesus still loved us so much that he took our punishment on the cross. So don't give up. Rise up. Jesus is bigger than any sickness, any cancer, any virus, any fear, any insecurities, any pain, any shortcomings, and any failures in your life. Rise up. Put your trust in Jesus today and rise up. And be all that God has created you to be. Do all that God has created you to do. Rise up. God has commanded you to rise up. You don't have to defeat your sins. Jesus did it for you on the cross. We don't have to be perfect. But he's calling you to rise up. After Jesus rose and he hanged out with his disciples and he gave him some instructions. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he gave him some instructions. He gave him, he told them to spread the good news. To tell people that he would be back again. Amen. And he gave him the great commission. Matthew 28, verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. Jesus is not dead. He's alive. So rise up and live today. God bless you. I hope this message blessed you. Share this with somebody that needs to hear it. Share it. Let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you, Lord God. Lord, begin to move your spirit within us, Lord God. Begin to do your works in our lives and in our families' lives, Lord God. Begin to heal us, Lord God. Begin to rise us up like a mighty army for you, Lord God. You didn't stay down. You didn't quit. You rose up. And we need to rise. Not through our power, but through your power, Lord God. Forgive us for our sins, Lord God. And Lord, we want to walk with you, Lord Jesus. We accept you. As our Lord and Savior, Lord God, we thank you for dying on the cross in our place, Lord God. We deserve the punishment, but you took our place. We thank you for that. In your precious name, amen. Amen, amen. God bless you. Share this. Go to our website, davidgomezministries.com. And, and if this blessed you, send us a message, amen. If you need prayer, send us a message. You could go to the website, fill out our email, and just do it. God bless you. Until next Sunday.